I can't believe I'm actually saying this. Kazakhstan. I have been waiting to travel to Central Asia since years, specifically Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan. My parents went to Uzbekistan without me, so then I was like, I will never go to Kazakhstan, but Kazakhstan especially. I just landed today. Um, it kind of looks like erstwhile USSR, which it actually kind of is. What? And we are in Almaty. We landed today and behind me is my hotel. So basically what's going to happen is we are here four days and I'm going to show you what you can do for four days in Kazakhstan, specifically Almaty and nearby places. And I'm traveling with my parents. So you will see a lot of mom and dad on this trip, unless they are being very, very non-cooperative in my vlog um, but yeah this is one of the main streets here in Almaty, Kazakhstan now mama will tell us mama how did you get here what airlines what was the visa process we got here because of you you had four days of chutti mm -hmm. and we thought we'll spend a family vacation which we haven't done for such a long time that's true so op papa opened the world map and said which is the closest mm -hmm. visa free uh, Indian passport works like Nepal yeah. out here so no visa required just booked on Astana Airways and fabulous airlines by the way. Astana, Air Astana. Air Astana, yeah. It was good. And direct flight. Three and a half hours, not even three and a half hours, three hours. An empty flight. And new plane, fabulous. Very nice. And now we're waiting for Papa who's somewhere. He's gone to get his there. Oh, let him go. <laughs> Just fathers in the wild. which we have used <coughs> to book this cab and it's super cheap. Papa, how much has this taxi cost us? So it says like, let's say 2700 divided by 5. 27 divided, 27 divided by 5? 500. 500. 500. So this was actually almost a 45 minute or a 50 minute ride. And it's costing us 500 bucks. We are at a place called Matteo. So there are two cable cars in Uzbekistan. This is the first one we are taking. Not Uzbekistan, Bulgaria. Fuck, I'm in Kazakhstan. But there are two uh, cable cars again in Almaty. This is the first one that will take us till top of that mountain, which is Snow Peak. So it's really nice. My parents being parents. Cute, very sweet. Mama, what is Vera V and what is this? Oh, well, we are in the Switzerland of Asia, I think. No, this, this is not. <laughs> Tomorrow we are going to Switzerland or Central Asia. So, well, we are at Medu, which is the starting point station for cable car. Mm -hmm. And it takes you to um, the skating ring and to the ski resort. And the ski resort is... In to on top of a mountain. Absolutely, and very high. It's around 2,000 feet. Uh, 7,000 feet. 7,000 7, feet high. And I want to tell you, that Uzbeki people are quite pretty. Um, by looks, they look very, very similar to uh, Mongolians. That's my mom, why? They look very, very similar to Mongolians. I don't know if you can see someone's face. Teamwork is when there are multiple queues and lines, and each one of you stands in a different line, or just keep any bari ajati, it's a mom who this is the queue to buy a ticket uh, to the cable car gondola and it's massive. And the only thing is, the major problem here is the language. No English is not And here are other tourists. There are local tourists. The prices divided by five. And there are different spots you can go to. I have two people in front of me. Papa has one person. I think he's going to win this game. Okay, he won. Hey, Papa has left the line and he's in the line. Mein <laughs> this is the line to. We are over and through. This is the line to enter the gondola. He was in a line to buy the tickets. Don't lose ticket. This no. is your return ticket. Okay, and Papa, you picked me a passport. Nobody cares. But the line is also long to go. Top of the mountain where it's snowing and it's so funny. It is so hot. It is. It's so hot here, niche. But upper, it's snowing. You 
can't put sunscreen on your beard. Your beard is the sunscreen. It is so sunny. It is so hot. We are all we are applying our sunscreen. SPF is very important. Now it's good. I'll show you where we are. But uh, our gondola ride was so hot. Hours. I understand you We are at the highest point, which is at 7,000 something odd feet. And you know what's really cool about it? It's as if we started in Chandigarh and took an entire gondola cable car all the way to Shimla. So we changed four cable cars one after the other because the height is so much. And imagine sitting in Chandigarh, which was where we vlogged, where I was getting onto the cable car. And now we've reached. Actually, this point is way higher than Shimla in reality. That's Papa. I can't tell you the depth of this place. It's beautiful. Wait, let me show you. Mountains and mountains and mountains. So we finally made it to the top. We are at my mom's behind the camera. How much? How many feet, Mama? Seven thousand feet. Oh uh, yes, thirty-two hundred. No, no, much more. Thirty-two hundred meters. Thirty-two hundred meters, and we took three or four cable cars to get here. So from the city, we came all the way to the Hill Station. It took us two hours, one hour to get up. This is the view. This is green here, and there are snow peak mountains there. Because there's a problem of English, सब कुछ local language में लिखा है, so we have to use Google Scanner to figure what's written. Samsa, samsa with beef, samsa with cheese. And this is the view. So this is pulao. This is a small quail egg. We are unsure about what the meat is. This we are also unsure about what it's called because the language is a little tough. But it's like a filo pastry with chicken inside it, and this is yum. Okay. The way to get out from this ski, what's it called? Ski. It's so funny. They have to run. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Okay, guys. I'm whispering because my parents are sleeping. But I have to tell you, in Central Asia, okay, everything is very erstwhile. And why I say this is because like, sab kuch kafi zada purana hai. Okay. So even though there will be some elements of like new stuff, most of them. Quiet hold, including the hotel. So I have to show you this room. It's massive. Okay, we booked a suite. This is room number one. And when I'm showing this to you, please mind you, कि बहुत ही ज़्यादा, बहुत ही ज़्यादा लग रहा है. मैं वहाँ से चल के आई थी. ठीक है. बहुत ही ज़्यादा space है. And कुछ नहीं है यहाँ. बहुत old school है. बहुत पुराना. But hotel बहुत सही है. And then that's my bathroom. And then this is the entry. Hi. That's me. Then my parents' room is here. So, in total, this is almost like a three BHK in Delhi. I'm not joking. Evening in Almaty, where kids are doing this, and it kind of looks like a like a, a developing Tokyo, but twenty years from there. But it's really. and fun and i did not expect this vibe here so we came back from the cable car expedition we went home and passed out because we got really tired but it was beautiful and now we are in the most hustling and bustling street of almaty it's lit behind me i didn't even think it would be like this it's giving me like a city center japan korea vibe Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to write the name here. It's just back-to-back -back restaurants and street performances and ice cream vendors and shops and crazy. My dad is just sitting alone. But there are lines of people. I'll show you. We're having salad, donut kebab, and some yogurt. Oh. And Kebab. Guys, this might 
uh, trigger some people but i just want to tell you that kazakhstan is non vegetarian paradise because it's a landlocked country which means that they really need to sustain themselves on meat so like i said almati is like great for non vegetarians vegetarian options are very limited and also there's a huge language barrier they don't speak english at all so you'll have to have google translate and just go with your gut feeling uh, what we are doing is you're just pointing at other people's tables and be like we want this so we just had dinner and now we've come to this ice cream place apparently ice cream is extremely popular here and this place is supposed to be really cool it's called zika's ice welcome to day 2 and we are here at a sea plateau at the observatory <laughs> okay, so a little about where we are. We are in Asi Plateau, which is in the Tegron Valley. I could be pronouncing it completely off, but like I said, it is by far one of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever seen. And there's an observatory behind me. Look at this. Just it's just miles and miles of nothing but uh, plateaus, just like rolling pastures of land and hills, and it's. Standing like the camera is not doing justice to what we've seen. I'll just take a lot of footage for you all to see. So if you do come to Almaty, it is a long way. It it takes two hours on a highway, and then forty five minutes on off road. Um, so get ready for a very bumpy ride, but it is magical. You see my dad. That's my dad. And their doggies and their horses. And then local herders who live in something called a yurta. Yurta is basically like a nomadic home. So wherever they travel, they just take it with themselves, which is quite cool. Now we drove even more, and there are even more, more plateaus and pastures and hills. It's unreal, guys. Like I can't tell you. I'm halfway because I just walked each and I climbed up, but uh, yeah. And Kyrgyzstan. I am in Kazakhstan. Why did I say Kyrgyzstan? Kazakhstan is in Central Asia, but the thing is, it's the ninth largest country in the world, so they have a lot of land. Clearly, the second largest uh, country in Asia. It's massive. Priorities. Saiba, how are you enjoying? Blissful. Gorgeous, isn't it? In the middle of nowhere. It's not doing justice to like, the expanse, no. So the picnic begins. We are having a picnic. Thank you, Kavita and Neeraj. You're welcome. <laughs> we booked this through Neeraj, who's amazing, and his company where he works at. He's having chocolate. This is where we are. My mom's in the water again. <laughs> the horse is here. And now more families have come to do the picnic at this beautiful spot. But we are ready to leave, so we are heading out. Guys, this is the main Orthodox church in Almaty, and it is absolutely stunning at night. Um, my mom shall tell the history because she knows it. Like I said, it's absolutely stunning. My mom is taking a picture. Mama, tell me about the history. Touch. Cut it. Mama, tell. The most important thing about this church is that it, the structure is made entirely from wood. Mm. There's not a single nail being, you know, um, put in this. Mm. And the other thing is there was a massive earthquake which destroyed everything around the church, but this remained intact. Yes. Beautiful, right? We are at a restaurant and Papa got in some alcohol, which is the uh, Serbian. Serbian. Rakia. That one. 
Rashiva. Cheers. 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 What was cheers called in Russian? You remember? Salute. No, ma'am. Like tequila? Yeah. It's like tequila. Okay. I'm just waiting for my dad to get me because we are at Green Bazaar. So Green Bazaar is literally the biggest open market in Kazakhstan. Um, it has everything from your food, to your veggies, to your fruits, to your kitchen stuff, t-shirts, fashion, bags, toys, makeup, you name it. And it is called Green Bazaar, which is called Coke, Coke means green. And it has different, different sections. This is truly a must if you want to shop or to see how the locals consume food, etc. So go, let me go find my dad. I'm at a bus stop and it's right up. Now uh, we've come for lunch to a place called Master Doma and we are having a dana kebab. How's it? When I just demolished dana kebabs already. All over town these are these segways and everyone keeps riding them. It's like I can't tell you how many people are riding them. There are more of these than cars. Like literally. And all you have to do is you have to download an app and then you scan it and then you are good to go. This is the city center that is the Kazakhstan Hotel which is massive but very old. And now we are going to Koftobe to do a cable car. In the middle of the city you can take a cable car. This is different from what we did earlier. That goes to a pass, the highest park point. But here you can go to the top of the city and get a viewing point. It's called Coke Tobe and it's right in the center of the city. Are you ready to do sledging? What's sledging? But now you can buy a ticket only for cable for other things, buy a ticket up there, okay? okay. Oh, for that is up there. Yes. This is the bargaining, so you can take this and go all the way That's down all. instead of the cable car. We've reached the top of Almaty at the Coke to Bay cable car. It's top of the city, one thing to note. Second, you can take the cable car up and down. You can either take the cable car or do tobagganing, which I love doing, so I may do that. Then there's food here, there's a Ferris wheel here. There's like different games, excursions, food, concerts, and that's the- Photobomb! <laughs> But why there are apples all over here is because Almaty means the place of apples. It literally means apple. And the apples are very different than what to say to me. Yeah, so Almaty is place She's of apples. trying to create the new apple company. I need a bite. <laughs> He's being the Steve Jobs. I don't understand what's happening here, but there's this university, Caspian University, which is the biggest in Kazakhstan, and there's smoke all over. There's also mist outside Caspian University, so people can cool themselves. Damn cool. So we came to this place. It's a must, must if you're coming to Almaty for local Uzbek food. They have a lot of yummy food and the interiors are just fat. So also for vegetarians guys, if you're vegetarian, please don't come to Kazakhstan. I'm not even kidding. There's not a single vegetarian option. Like this is also has salmon, this has beef, this has a uh, veal. Everything is non-vegetarian. But for me, like for non-vegetarian, it's a great place to eat. I am at Central Park in Almaty and the name is actually what it suggests. It is Central Park because Almaty ka yehi Central Park hai. It's beautiful so you must come here. Uh, it's a beautiful park. It's huge so the expanse is crazy. They have everything from an amusement park to a stadium, zoo, rides, food, restaurants, boating, a pond, lake. So it's, it's quite great for a few hours to spend alone or if you're with someone or family, kids, it's great. Yeah, this is where we are. My parents are sleeping under some tree. 
um, in a shade and I am going to find some food and water. Where are the kids? Every place we are going to eat. It's nice to have So this is also called the Presidential Park and then there's something called Dino Park, which is an amusement park here. This park is massive guys. It's a lot of fun. It's breeding too. I do it every place where I do breeding. But today I'm going to spa today. So I can't get big. It's for not an amusement park. It has a lot of rides. Huh? It's like a normal park. Think Central Park in Manhattan. And when I go on this side, it's crazy. They're standing. I don't know if you can see. They're all standing in it. And it's elevated completely. That was fun. Wrong way. But for the ulti wali feeling, they are just in that way. So this is Arasan's park, and it's a huge wellness center. I'll show you how big the building is. It goes all the way around, and it keeps on continuing. It's a huge block. It can host 203, no, 2,300 guests. So 2,300 customers and it has multiple part treatment rooms, hammam, sauna, steam. So we're going. This is what they're going to clean you with. What so kind of herbs? So the hammam where they people give you a bath, they use this to clean you and jhado you. And it's segregated. So there's a men's bath and a women's bath would actually bathe you. So for men, there are massages, there is bath, where people will actually remove dead skin. It's basically hammam, and there's peeling and everything. And for women, there are all these services. I'm getting a massage, a bath, and a peel. A few moments later. We just got done with the spa. It was massive obviously i can't take my camera inside there was a cosmetology area for the face hair area hammam finish sauna baths so many baths a pool massages it was like non-stop and so many people gore ekdam chitte ho gaye ekdam sari mel nikal gayi hai bhai sab kuch zyada nahi ho gaya you have to do this if you're not approved and you don't mind being completely nude in front of people and you like spas Okay, so we are officially done with the holiday. We are heading back at the airport. I just got myself fruits because I've only eaten meat the last four days. My body needs some fruits. So I just got this. I also want to tell you two things that I hope this itinerary helps you. But also there is a place like a canyon and there's a lake that you can see which I didn't because it was really really hot. Like I was saying you can go to the canyon or the lake. I will link it here with pictures. Um, it was too hot for me if you go in winters or a better time to travel, probably August. Definitely go see. See ya! Say bye Almaty! Bye!